Now, the small intestine, here we're looking at a very close-up view, sorry, of the abdominal cavity. We zoom out a little bit. We can see here, at the front of the cavity, we have this structure called the greater omentum, which is, looks kind of like an apron. It's a double layer of membrane with fat and blood vessels in between. So we just remove that so we can see what's underneath it. Here we can see part of the large intestine, but at the moment we're more interested in this, which is the small intestine. Now if we remove that part of the large intestine that was getting in the way, we can see this is where the stomach ended and the small intestine begins. So the pyloric sphincter will be sitting just above this opening here. And so this is the start of the duodenum. Now the duodenum goes across and then down and then across and back up. And this bend right here is the duodeno-jejunal flexion. So this is actually the start of the jejunum just here. So the duodenum is all of this part here. Now then the jejunum and the ileum are this part. And all we really need to do to work out which bit is which is just draw a line across the middle there. This part superior to the line is jejunum. This part inferior to the line is the ileum. Now there's a membrane that holds the small intestine in place and it anchors the small intestine to the posterior abdominal wall. So on this model, we can see it on the back here. So this is the mesentery. And they've shown quite nicely on the model how the mesentery is actually two layers of membrane with fat and blood vessels in between. And that the, the membrane comes around, or comes down to the organ, goes around it, and then comes back up. So there's two layers of membrane, fat and blood vessels in between. Now on the specimens, of course, it will look quite different because on a specimen, you'll be able to move the intestines around and, and just pull a little bit gently out, and you'll see that the mesentery is attached to the back of the organ there. 